welcome to another edition of the Before You Cook cooking series. I'm your host, Chef X. Today we're going to be working with oranges, and in this first part I'm going to show you how to zest an orange. Zest can be used in many different recipes, such as baking into cakes and muffins, adding to marinades or dressings, even chutneys and salsas. So let's begin. First, we want to cut the ends off the orange, and set those aside because you won't be needing those. Then set it on its end, and with a sharp knife it really helps. Go ahead and start stripping off pieces of the orange, trying not to get any of the white flesh, or as little as possible. And do that to the whole orange, or just as much as you need for your recipe. Now remember to blanch your zest before using in a little bit of hot water. It'll reduce some of the tartness. Now once we have our strips out, what you're going to do is go ahead and lay that piece on its side. And with a small paring knife, you just want to trim off as much of the white flesh as you can. Uh, it's also a good source of vitamin K if you want to nibble on that. Now you can cut these into juliennes, just very thin strips to use in that method if you want, sprinkling on granola, maybe your yogurt in the morning. Or you can also dice them up for adding to, again, cakes, marinades, salsas, things like that. And we're just going to take all the strips, move them aside and do a nice little chop on that and you see how finely diced they can be. Now once you blanch them you can store them in the freezer and use them as you wish. And I also like to use it as a garnish just sprinkling on foods for a nice little hit of flavor and it looks good as well. So there's your zest of orange. Next we're going to be showing you how to section an orange just to get the pieces of the of the fruit out without all the skin or pulp or flesh. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by setting your orange on the edge again. Now, just like we did with the zesting, we're going to go a little thicker and we're going to remove all the white flesh from the outside of the orange, just exposing the fruit itself. Again, try and get as close as you can so you don't lose as much of the, much of the fruit as possible. And uh, you're going to have little little pieces of white still on the fruit, but don't worry about that. Uh, you can go back and trim it down. Uh, before you start cutting the fruit out, or you can do it as you're going along. So once we have that all cleaned up, go ahead and grab yourself a small paring knife. And what you want to do is on the inside of the sections, uh, right before the skin, go ahead and make your cuts. And what this is going to do is going to give you a little perfect wedge of orange that can be used for any applications that you want. You can top pancakes with them, make fruit salad, add them to salads, or just snack on and uh, they're healthy and uh, if you have digestion issues this also helps as well and this method can also be used for any other citrus fruit you choose grapefruit limes tangelos and that's how you section an orange i'm chef x and thank you for watching another edition of the before you cook cooking series mm -hmm.